Hello everyone, this is a little quick video on my cover of this altered book. Um, nothing special, I just uh, decorated the way I wanted. I didn't want to do an uh, elaborate one, just something with color. <laughs> That's it, and some beautiful chipboard trees that I got. So um, first I am, I have gessoed the the cover of course and now I am gluing down this beautiful paper out of a plant dictionary thing and uh, it's quite thin paper and I really like it it's great for decoupage and I you can see that I am overlapping so I'm just folding the paper down uh, towards the inside of the uh, cover as well to create a nice edge all around uh, so I'm just covering the the front and the back and the spine as well and I saw when I was looking uh, around my craft room I saw this uh, pretty napkin laying around I thought oh fits the paper quite well so I glued that down it's just sad that you can't see much of it in the end when I'm finished with it but as it goes, I don't know where I am going with things when I start projects. So everything that I do is necessary, in my opinion. <laughs> now you can see that I folded everything and it looks quite good. This is Blue Fern Designs. Fiona sh sells it in her shop and she gifted me these trees. I really love them. Now go in with acrylic paints. Um, to do quick uh, cover, uh, cover of the uh, quick color on my cover. Wow, too many K's. Um, going over black, yellow to create the beautiful green that I like so much. And then I thought, oh, way too dark, you can't see the paper anymore. So go in with my favorite stencil at the moment, Just use a baby wipe and wipe the excess paint off of your cover. So that's what I'm doing here. Front and back of course, drying it completely. It looks quite nice. And then I go in with the same stencil again and positioning it the same way as I did the first time. And then go in with pink. Don't know why I decided on pink, but here is where it all went wrong. No, not wrong, but <laughs> my ideas changed along with the uh, colors that I use. So I thought, oh, pink looks good. So go on from there. Um, I apply it quite thick to create a bit of texture and it looks good, I think. So now deciding I need black, as you know. So just using some archival ink to go through this paper stencil. Just here and there, some black spots. Then I go in with the stencil and use gesso and applying it heavily to create more texture. Uh, didn't like it that much, so I tried to tone it down a little bit with uh, black, but no, 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 didn't like it at all. So I go in with the yellow through the same stencil and covering most of it up again. Well, that's how it goes. And it turned uglier in my opinion but I kept going <laughs> as you know I were going I thought okay then I'm going to ink why not Liquitex uh, ink acrylic ink and just watering it down quite well keep moving it around it got into the creases and uh, now I started liking it Used a lot of water and uh, dried it quite well and I did the same on the back as well And I thought, this this looks pretty. It doesn't need much more than this. If you could see it in real life, it's a really nice cover this way. And um, now I'm just inking up the ed edges with black. It needed that, of course. And uh, after I have done this, I think I am going to continue on the tree. Not sure yet. I think so. Oh, no, 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 no. The, f 
next step was using deco art crackle medium transparent one this gives an eggshell kind of crackle in the end you can't see it on the video or on the pictures but it is it is there and it gives a very pretty shine while this was drying uh, I am painting that beautiful tree in just black acrylic quite heavily not neat or nice or pretty just putting it down <laughs> on the tree and of course drying it then I used Versamark uh, and this black embossing powder from Ranger and I decided to emboss the whole tree to give it shine that fits the book cover and because it's glossy as well then uh, I used gel medium uh, on top of the tree as you can see and I used this glass glitter from Finnebar Finnebar, Finnebar, something like that really lovely silver color just sprinkle it here and there not much then after drying that I go in a Versamark again and I'm using UT to create more texture and this this I think that this looks pretty I'm gonna show you now how it looks it's quite pretty I think oh that was a very quick one and then I glue it down with glossy accents because it's strong and then this is it everyone so I hope you liked it just a few pictures two of them and I will see you next time bye bye everyone and thank you for watching and commenting and giving thumbs up and I'll see you next time bye bye everyone bye